Hey, there's been a couple times where I didn't hit record, so welcome to Art Anthology on uh, you stream Live, and this is Phyllis, and let me show, since this is being recorded, here is my layout that I'm going to recreate, and these are the products from Art Anthology that I'm going to be using. Um, the velvet dimensional paint and this is called basil um, a sorbet and this is viridian this is one of my favorite I love that color and then I'm using a minx and this one is called radiance and it has shimmer on the bottom so these are little droplets and then I'm going to use colorations timeless So let me, I'm going to, I always do this last, so I'm going to do this first. So I'm going to distress my edges. This is going to be the backing for the um, layout. And I almost always use this distressor on my layouts. So this is just cardstock. I think it was from Recollections. And then this is actually from um, Blue Fern Studios. And I know sometimes I hate to cut up their paper because it's so pretty. I just got my little space back in order last night we've we had uh, removed our carpet and put some wood flooring in last weekend so my space has been a mess and then before that I was actually reorganizing stuff and and then when I was putting it back I couldn't find anything today so I was I still need to make those labels brandy <laughs> So I distressed this. I probably should wait. Okay, so I'll put that on afterwards since I'm gonna use gesso. And lately I've been using a clear gesso mixed with an acrylic gesso. That way there's a little bit of white showing and then there's a, a little bit of the clear where it's, it shows the background. Okay. Well, the wood flooring when I look at it, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to do anything on the floor. <laughs> but I love it. It turned out really, really pretty. The sad part is you have to, once you get it down, <laughs> you have to go get area rugs. <laughs> so anyway, we got that done and everything's put back. So kind of makes you feel like you have to walk on eggshells <laughs> just so you don't scratch it up. <laughs> Okay, so for a more even uh, coat of gesso, I use a, an old card. And I'll give that a quick dry. like to turn it over and dry it on the back and it's 
sometimes it'll help with the warping. Okay, so let me try to remember. I did this like two weeks ago, I think, the my layout. And instead of using texture paste, I like to use uh, Art Anthology's um, dimensional paints for the background. So I'm using the basil, and then I'm using this um, Art Anthology's dot matrix stencil. I was actually going to try uh, plan on doing something that would match this layout and do it a little bit different, but you know, using the same items. But the day got away from me, and yesterday I was working on another project, so I I thought, well, I'll just do the same thing. <laughs> And when you're working, obviously, with paints and stuff, have some paper towel handy. So I love the texture it gives. And what I like to do is have a little pan of water or a little bowl of water for my stencils when I'm doing these live classes or even on YouTube. That way my stencils don't dry out. So I'm going to give that a quick dry and when when I dry these I they tend to bubble up and I love that because it just adds more texture. these um, dimensional paints actually dry really fast so the next one I'm going to use is the Viridian look at that it's a really deep color and there is actually you can see glitter in it so I'm going to use the blossom from art anthology let me move this out of the way here. Make sure I'm... my camera is kind of set up a little facing too much, I think, but hopefully you guys can make out. So what I did again was use the dimensional paints for the background. got paint underneath the okay but that's okay you know you don't make mistakes in scrapbooking <laughs> or mixed media you can always do something to change that right I'm trying to look at my page here to see how I had this lined up I'm just gonna have to pretend I know what I'm doing here because I can't make out how I had the I know I had it at a different angle so I'm just gonna do a little bit here but isn't that color pretty oh my gosh I love it anything that reminds me of the beach the water on the beach is one of my is my favorite so then on this side I'm gonna put one over here and then one more right here Okay. 
let me check this chat here actually let me uh, put some glit so what I did to give it a little more shine I added some of my glitter and this is just some white glitter and actually this paint dries pretty fast so which I love I love that And I'm going to give it a quick dry and then I'll check the chat here. can see I think see all the um, texture it has what I like to do is run this piece of paper on the edge of my desk to kind of straighten it out a little bit okay I think the next was the uh, minx and this is radiance so give it a good shake and i i can't remember if i just drip i think i just added some and then i gave it some water to uh, move it around make sure you have some paper towel handy I like to move it around sometimes with just moving, you know, using a paper towel and it, it makes it lighter but it still shows color. And then you could apply this with, um, with a paintbrush if you want and I've also used the Minx on the craft mat. I'll sprinkle it a couple colors on and then I grab the uh, one of the stencils and put it on top and then put it you know kind of give it a wiggle and then put it on top of your paper to uh, give it a background so I'm going to give this a quick dry had a super gorgeous day today it was 81 um, I don't think there was a cloud in the sky it was just super gorgeous and then tomorrow it's supposed to get down to 65 so it's kind of wacky weather okay so the next so I'm sure you can't really pick up the shine but there is some shine in there from the minks and then I'm going to use the colorations, Timeless. Let me grab it. And I just gave it a couple sprays. whatever you don't want you know if there's too much of the spray I just dab it up 
And then, you know, if you want to move the color, just give it a good, a little spray of water. Okay, so I couldn't find my piece of burlap. There's a, I love to use texture on all my projects, but anyway, there's a piece of burlap and I could not find, I had a, no, I had a piece, I see a little tiny piece, but I have that and it, it was longer. So anyway, I'm just gonna do without <laughs> because I can't find it. And my next step was to do some stamping. And I used the stays on. I've never tried anything else. Um, long ago, before I got, got into mixed media, I used to use the color box, but that always took forever to dry. So I just wanna make sure <laughs> I'm still recording here. Okay, so I used a checkered Stamp. And I just, sometimes I just do it randomly. I don't really think too much. Otherwise, it seems like when I think about it, <laughs> I put it in the wrong place and it just doesn't look good. So I'm done with that one. And then I used a script stamp. Okay, I think that is it for the stamping. And then let me make sure. So usually what I do is I try to use my scraps, but my bin <laughs> is a mess right now and I didn't feel like going through it tonight, so Anyway, I usually have scraps all, I mean, I have a whole bin. So anyway, tonight I'm just gonna go use a new one so I have more scraps. <laughs> I'm sure everybody can relate, right? Okay. And I love this paper because when you tear it, it has white on the core. What I like to do, I get boxes in, you know, when I receive goodies. So I keep, I hoard some of the boxes and then I used, I use them for the backing to pop them up a little bit. And my glue is probably gonna pour all over. Whenever we have hot weather, it tends to come out after I set it up here. See, here it comes. Okay. Uh, 
of, and then I'm going to cut into this piece. a little bit big. Nice little distressor. I can't decide here if I want that side to show. I think I'll leave it right here. Okay. Okay. Um, I know this is pretty simple, but do you have any questions? Okay. So now I'm going to use my flowers. What I like to do is just um, lay them out and then play with them. Oh dear, <laughs> I didn't mean for that to come out, but that's okay. I, I actually left the stems on, on the original um, layout, but I won't do it this time since that came off. And let me cut this in half. Some of my flowers are a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same colors from the original. And I see I'm missing a flower. It's a green one. I don't think I had any more. Let me double check here. Everything's organized, but I can't find anything. <laughs> Okay, so we have these really pretty flowers. And I'm actually just going to put this one here. And then I had some die cuts. I have them laying around. I have them in a little container. And I'll cut a bunch and think I'm going to use them, but I end up not using them. So I just kind of keep them hanging around. And that color doesn't go. So I have these two little and I'm going to glue these down and then I'm going to add the micro beads and some seed beads. I'll have to show, <laughs> I worked on a um, canvas, I think it was, oh, it was right after we started the uh, wood flooring, and I had my desk at a different position, <laughs> so I felt like I was sitting in the corner like a little kid, and anyway, I started this canvas thinking, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to do this for a class, and get it ready, and I swear it was like the most hideous thing I worked on. I don't know if it was just because I was out of my place on my desk 
but I can give you guys a peek at that. I didn't quite finish it because I didn't know what, I got to a point where I didn't know what to do with it. The colors are kind of cool, but just the design of it was way weird. And it started out with one of those um, Prima embellishments with the face on it, with the flower, I think it was the flower. Well, sometimes those kind of embellishments just, <laughs> they don't work for me. So I ended up taking it off. What I like to do is just hold them down for just a few seconds to make sure they stick. And then I'm gonna actually just tore for the top and on the bottom here, just to give it a little bit of a different look. Remember when I first started crafting, I loved doing the tearing and somehow it seemed to come back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna glue this down. Oops, I forgot to glue the die cuts. And once I'm, I glue that down, I like to go along the edges and kind of just pick. Okay, let me glue these. Okay. And then next, let me make sure. Okay, I'm just looking at the lighting here, it's all of a sudden dark. So next, I'm going to use some beads. I'm scared to spill anything on the floor here. Get my 3D gel out. This is one of my favorite things to do, I think, is to put the beads on. And I've seen people add a, add beads with paintbrushes, but for some reason I cannot get that to work for me. They always stay on the paintbrush, and I don't know why. Okay. And if you don't have 3D gel, um, sometimes I use my Fabri-Tac glue. Let me wipe this. Okay. And I love this color. It's like a, um, what do you call it? Sterling, is that the color? I don't know if it's, it has this. It doesn't say on here. Anyway, I love this color. I would say <laughs> I love blues and greens and orange and the brown because it reminds me of the beach. But then when I work on something pink and purple, I love those colors too. 
And then I actually added a little bit of micro beads. And the, this is gold. <gasps> Brandy, are you keeping up? I think she said she's um, creating. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So I think that is it, except for the sequins. I added a few. And I'm trying to think here. I think I just used my little spatula. For once, my fingers are not all full of glue. I must not have been working hard <laughs> enough. Usually when I'm doing this, the class or even on um, my YouTube videos, my fingers are so full of glue, I can't, I can't grab anything without it sticking to me. I'm not sure if this was the brown that I used before. Sequins. And the last thing was splats a uh, splattering of the paint. What I like to do is grab this little palette. It just depends on what color I'm putting on there. So here. Peter falls asleep, so. Okay, so I like to just put these two together to show you what, how they turn out. Just let me get my paint here. And I did splatters of the minks. And then I did some sorbet Viridian. Let me wipe this off. And then I actually watered down this uh, Viridian. Let me do the Viridian first. I probably put too much water in there right now. And I like to use a fan brush. And I didn't actually, I, I didn't do a whole lot of splats this time on this layout. And I always have a cup of water at my desk. And I didn't give it, I don't think I gave it a dry, I just... It just depends on how crazy you want to go with the splatters. Okay, I think that's it. So I didn't print out another picture, and I don't usually put personal <laughs> pictures on very often because I just want to keep that private so anywhere here's the other page it's pretty close I see I need to sprinkle off the okay 
So, Heather, do you have any questions? Um, Brandy, I can't wait to see what you've created, so hope you can share that tomorrow. Thank you so much for showing up and uh, chatting. I, I would, haven't set up where I can chat, you know, have my computer right next to me. I would like to chat, but I guess you guys can hear me. I wish that they would make it where we could interact, you know, hearing each other. That would be fun. But watch for Brandy's uh, page in the Facebook group for Art Anthology. She usually posts it there, so I always enjoy watching, um, watching for her projects when she creates along with me. So I'm going to close out. Thank you again, Heather. And I always like watching, you know, checking out your projects. And I hope you get a chance to check out Art Anthology um, stuff because they it's really fun to work with. There's so many, you know, options. Have a good night.